Lucasfilm and Disney released the first official trailer for The Bad Batch Season 3. You know I'm a Clone Force 99 guy, so I can't wait to take a look at this trailer. Next. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's the Outlaw, John Roke. How you doing on this Monday morning? It's raining out here on the West Coast, so a little gloomy, although I do enjoy the rain. You do get that sense of a little gloominess. And speaking of gloominess, certainly going into the Bad Batch Season 3 after what happened at the end of Season 2, there's a lot of gloominess around the clones here. They don't have Omega, they don't have Crosshair, they've lost Tech, uh, and now you've got Echo, Wrecker, and Hunter trying to figure out how they can rally the troops to go into Mount Tantus and save uh, Omega and save um, uh, Crosshair from Dr. Hemlock. And what's the deal? Did Tech actually die? Did Tech not die? You know, this is kind of a kid's show, but it's gotten darker, so it's kind of mixing that young adult mixture with a little bit of adult stuff as well. So is Tech really dead we didn't see a body so a lot of questions coming out of uh, uh the uh, finale of season two and what are we going to see more from palpatine are we going to get more of commander rex coming back are we going to get more of these other clones who we met i know sid betrayed uh the bad batch there at the end of season two so what are we going to get in season three from her side of things is she going to show up um and i've heard there's a surprise in this one because obviously i'm coming to this trailer reaction a little bit later on in the day no one has told me what the surprise is but they are excited to see me react to it. So we will see what we got. So I'm excited to see it. Let's uh, not waste any time. Let's bring this thing up here and let's take a look at this first official trailer for season three of The Bad Batch. Let's go. Hold on. Oh. We've got troopers up top. Oh. oh, oh. We're running out of road. Not exactly a stone. Hey, be Genoa. <laughs> Good intro. I thought that the end of the war would mean an end to losing more of our brothers. Wow. But I was wrong. Oh, there's. Oh, we tech. can't just walk away. Not with the Empire imprisoning the kid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's Crosshair. Secure her in a cell. Right, right, her sister, right! For us a long time. Forgot. Our mission is not over yet. Yeah, Hunter, go get him. Oh, wow. There is nothing of greater importance to secure the future of this empire. Whatever is needed to accomplish this goal, you will have it. Wow. Certainly folks on the cloning stuff. They are. Coming. Oh, get me! All of you. Now let's say, nice. Give us a real challenge. <laughs> Wrecker. Dude, this is awesome! We're not big on following orders. Wow. I wasn't planning on killing you. But you're making it very tempting. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Wow. Okay, interesting. Love the surprise. Love Asajj Ventress. Love that she's back. So let me react to that kind of going backwards through the trailer. Very surprised to see that. So are they are they pulling a Darth Maul situation here where she died, but they're rewriting it? Are they not saying, because I think Dark Disciple is canon, so are they messing around with that in some way and rewriting this? So I have questions, but it was great to see her. Uh, great to hear the voice again. So interesting. What's the story there? So yeah, interesting. Um, but overall, the trailer is so badass. I mean, Seriously, right off the bat, having that adventure sequence and adventure scene going on there with uh, Fee Genoa. So clearly she's back, even though Sid betrayed them. Fee Genoa maybe taking that spot and actually does like or won't uh, betray the uh, clone troopers there So and Clone Force 99. So she's apparently on board for sure. But certainly throughout this thing, very focused on... Um, on the cloning situation, how important. Of course, that's been the prevalent thing over the first two seasons. So trying to kind of maybe give us a little background, make it canon. 
this whole idea of how this idea of how um, Emperor Palpatine cloned himself so that he ended up there at the end of the rise of Skywalker. So, but I like how they've gone about it over the first two seasons. Yeah, second season a little uneven. That beginning few episodes, kind of like ah, but then the back half of the season was really good and and uh, great. I compare it to the first season of Star Wars Rebels, right? Like the first few episodes, first ten episodes, you're like I'm in, I'm in, I'm, or first few I'm in, I'm in, and then they make that turn, and when they make that turn. It became a legendary animated series, so it feels like they what we've been waiting for, watching since the beginning, was that turn that happened in season two where it got super darker and finally started to confront stuff that's going on with the Empire. Good to see Crosshair in this, certainly him finally seeing the light, which we all predicted, but although it seemed like a foregone conclusion, which some of us were kind of like, oh, it's predictable, the way they went about him finally coming to the light and seeing what was going on, I thought worked really well so that you could actually have this sympathy for Crosshair and care for Crosshair, because of course Star Wars is about redemption, so no surprise there, seeing um, seeing Omega throughout this thing, but not much, just a little bit, just enough to know they've got to save her, they've got to save Crosshair, have we lost tech? And then the sister situation, seeing the sister there working for the Empire, Omega finding out that she has a sister, Nala Se is in this trailer, so what is she uh, going to reveal about that whole situation? We're seeing Dr. Hemlock being a, a stronger part of the trailer as well, so uh, him and Palpatine working together, so we're definitely going to have a very evil element uh, uh, throughout this whole season, clearly, and of course we know what happens with Palpatine, as I referenced earlier. So something of what Hemlock is doing is obviously going to work out. Commander Wolf we see in the trailer as well showing up. Uh, Cat Bane being a part of this thing. I don't know if I missed it, but I didn't see Fennec Shan in this trailer uh, at all. But um, a lot of questions coming out to see if maybe what's Cad Bane's role in all of this? What is Fennec Shan? Are they all just going to be sent by the Empire to go after the clone trooper, Clone Force 99? Or do they work with Clone Force 99 to get to Mount Tantus, Tantus and save uh, Omega and save Crosshair and possibly? tech if tech is there uh, as well so a lot of questions but this looks pretty badass of course it begins and ends with Asajj Ventress what are we doing how are they going to explain that I got a lot of questions but I'm not happy I'm not mad at it I'm happy about it I just want to see how they explain this and make this work overall well, what stood out to you what did you like about the trailer what did you enjoy seeing here in this trailer did you like the vibe did you like the darker edge did you like that they're all coming together here to kind of fight the empire did anything give you any pause did we concerned about anything is there anything I didn't mention here because remember I'm only seeing this for the first time so I'm sure I missed a few things let me know down in the comment section below uh, and uh, hit a like on this video share it on your social media and you know more than anything else please subscribe to the channel down below hit that subscribe button hit that bell button so you see we're dropping all the content I do here on the Outlaw Nation channel you guys are awesome thanks so much for watching this trailer reaction all right put this one on your calendar February 21st I think they said they're dropping the first three episodes there on February 21st so put that on your calendar and I'll talk to you next time with another brand new reaction video here on the Outlaw Nation.